Good afternoon. Or morning. Or any other time of life. This is the time of your life. And this is Brandon. And this is the horse stable again. And today I feel compelled to to talk about uh dreams. And not dreams that you have at Betty by time. Like dreams about the future and <clears throat> ambitions and all those things. And you know it's but it's 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 like cliche bullshit to say, hey, follow your dreams, cause you can achieve anything. No you fucking can't. No you can't. How many astronauts are there? Like twelve. I don't know. Not a lot of astronauts. Um but you should follow your dreams. If your dreams are not not so much reasonable as appropriate is the word I choose to use. Um, because, and by appropriate, I mean, like, a suited to you personality-wise, and what you're able to achieve, you know, and, why does my laptop say satellite on it? This sat th this laptop doesn't like orbit a planet or anything. This this laptop is never even this laptop doesn't even know what outer space is. And here it is claiming and so like I haven't really said anything inspirational. It's I was almost intending to like be all inspirational and with a message and something you remember and learn but I think you should pick up a guitar and write a song right now or I think you should draw a picture of of your of whatever the fuck you want I don't know Draw a picture. Draw, uh, draw a picture right now. I'm gonna draw a picture right now. Hold on. This is... Apparently I'm... Apparently I'm, like, angry or something. But I'm not. I'm just... I wanna draw a picture for you guys right now. And it's not even hard. Are you guys looking at my butt? You can if you want. It's shapely. I have shapely buns. Um, here we go. For drawing a picture, you're gonna need something to draw on. And look, I have a desk. And here's a pencil. Now I'm gonna draw a picture. Let's, let's, let's watch. Let's watch. What am I got? What am I gonna? What am I gonna draw a picture of? What am I gonna draw a picture of? I'm gonna draw a picture of of you you guys I usually always start with eyes whenever I'm drawing a picture cuz when I draw pictures I usually start with the eyes and you guys are gonna be looking straight ahead And here's a nose. The, that's for sniffing. Or... Did you know that you can breathe with your nose? Yeah. You don't have to breathe with your mouth. You can breathe with your nose. And there's the mouth. Because some people think that the nose is only for, you know, smelling things. Or, or for sneezing. But... I'm here to t I'm here to say that that's not true. Um, I know from experience that there's some sort of I don't know like a passageway 
that leads from your nose directly into your mouth. That's not what I meant to say, but that's also true. But what I meant to say was there's a passageway that leads from your lungs and your nose. And they can they link. And they save Zelda from bad guys. You see what I did right there is I said link and I meant something else, but I thought of the a video game character I don't know if he's actually been in any cartoons but like you know on television I suppose perhaps he may have a lot of video game characters have done that before like Super Mario and Sonic the Hedgehog I believe there was a Donkey Kong show I believe that there was a shut up, shut up, shut up show. That's my favorite video game. It's called shut up, shut up, shut up. And not really. I'm just making that up. See, what you do when you talk is you just make stuff up. Very rarely. Well, sometimes you'll have a script in mind, especially if you're giving a speech. Or if you're performing, like, perhaps a play. And you will have a script in mind because... I don't know if you guys know what plays are. Um, that's whenever people get on top of stages and they tell a story, but they walk around. And there's a lot of them, and they wear they wear costumes. And sometimes you have to pay to watch people tell you the story, and sometimes you don't. Like at school, you know, like nobody pays to go see little kindergartners sing out of key in unison very badly to music from a boombox that's like way too loud. Nobody wants to hear that. Um, who would want to? Although it's adorable, yeah, it's just I don't want a bunch of little kids shouting at me and I don't understand what any of them are saying. Because, sure, they maybe they don't know the words, but most of them don't. And most of them don't even sing, if you want to call it that. And, uh, like, it's just silly. And one time I was in school, in elementary school, and there was a play, and, uh, these shoes are too fucking stupid. Um, there was a play, and there were some bugs, and they wanted equal rights, and I was the president. Um, and that's funny now, because in recent times, this has been in the news, and why has this been in the news? I'm not the first to say that, but, you know. O President Obama, he killed a fly with his hand during an interview thing. And we, being who we are today, we pay a lot of attention to that. People who don't even know his policies, or, you know, what he's trying to do, you know, they just think, Oh, well, he killed a fly, and that's inhumane. But, you know, they mass market fly swatters, for God's sake. Like, people kill flies all the time. They just, you know, don't run the country while they're doing it. Um, and also, one time I was in a play, and it was a play about Rudolph. No, it wasn't. It was, a it was about Santa. I don't know what this play was about, and, uh, I was a reindeer, is why I said Rudolph. Uh, son of a bitch. It's like nine minutes already? I'm gonna quick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this as fast as I can. I don't wanna make you guys sit here and wait for 800 hours. Cause who wants to do that? Raise your hand if you wanna wait 800 hours for anything. I don't even know how many hours... 800 hours is. Um, the music you're listening to right now is Afro Celt Sound System, and they're super great. 
and they're all like awesome and if you listen to them then you'll probably get like you probably people will come to your door and they'll give you gifts because they heard your music from afar that's only if you're listening to it loudly I'm listening to it quietly right now I don't anticipate anybody coming and like giving me gift baskets full of soap and and like jars of jelly what is with gift baskets it's like who wants those weird things all at the same time together this guy's gonna have stubby legs and this one's shaped funny He's gonna be barefoot. And, like, sometimes you get cheese for Christmas. Or summer sausage. And, for one thing, it's not summer. It's winter in America. I learned recently that, well, I didn't learn. I just, like, thought of the fact that in Australia, where some of my friends live, it's when it's it's summertime in during Christmas time and I'm like what is wrong I wish that I was like a caterpillar and I could metamorphosize into something else someday just being a humans kind of lame I don't think anybody will argue that they've ever wanted to be something more than human. I don't know. And, uh... There you go. That's you guys. That's my YouTube audience. There's two of you. And one of you has really weird shoulders and walks around barefoot but you're always slack-jawed and you have like blank stares anyway 12 minutes is quite long enough and I'm Brandon's the horse stable and follow your dreams and if your dreams squiggle around then you squiggle around and if your gene if you if if your dreams keep on squiggling around then you keep on squiggling as well in addition also to plus